Hi everyone and welcome back to a completely different project. I am going to put together this fun organizer. I fell in love the moment I saw it. This is by Art by Marlene. I love that you can customize it to make it fit with the colors and the design of your craft room. Plus it has lots and lots of compartments to organize all the little bits and pieces that I keep on top of my desk all of the time. And I love the fact that you can turn it around for easy access. Now the price is great also, it has a 15% off now at Joggles and you can get it for about $22. So this is how the whole thing comes, it comes flat on this box and at the back you can get all the instructions on how you can assemble it. But we are going to do everything together in this video. Now this is MDF, all the parts are made out of MDF and they are white colored so you can use your paints, you can use your die cuts, you can use your tissue paper, whatever comes to mind to decorate it. I am going to go quite simple today since this would fit nicely with the rest of my craft room but really the sky is the limit when it comes to decorating. So here is what you get in the box, these are all MDF parts and this is a plastic one that has that mechanism that will help your organizer to turn around. So you get a couple of big hexagons, a big circle and I'm going to show you later on how you can use all this and this is the base where you will build the whole thing. For now I'm going to put aside the big pieces and let's start with the smaller ones so you will get six of this shape. And although these pieces look symmetrical front and back, they actually aren't if you notice the edges. So this is something you need to keep in mind and I will let you know later on why. You will also get six of these pieces, six of these ones with a rounded edge and this hexagon little thingy that will keep everything together. If you are planning to decorate your organizer and color it in, I would advise to do that before putting everything together. I think it's uh, easier to work flat. I'm going to customize only the outer edges, not the inside ones, just because I believe that these are not going to show too much since I will be adding all my bits and pieces in those compartments. But of course you can go ahead and color all these pieces front and back to your heart's content. Again, I'm going for a clean and simple look for this organizer just because that fits with the rest of the decorating elements on my craft room and I need to make sure which side is the outer edge. So I'm going to really quickly put things together here and you can see that the outer edge is the one that is wider. Notice the edges on the sides. So I'm going to put all those six pieces making sure that I have the correct edge on top so that I can decorate it. Now a good idea is to add a very light coat of uh, gesso to prime all these areas just to make sure that your paint is going to stick nicely there. I'm not going to do that however, I'm skipping priming all these pieces just because I will use paper Paperazzi Fresco Finish paint and I know that this paint sticks pretty much everywhere. If you are in doubt about uh, the paint and if it's going to stick on top of your pieces, make sure that you try it out at the bottom of uh, the whole organizer where it's not going to show at all. So I'm not going for the perfect application here, I'm uh, going to uh, mix up a couple of colors, this is Caribbean Sea and Captain Peacock, two of my favorite blue shades by uh, Paper Archie. I will make sure that I cover up the edges and of course if you want to be super neat you can use some masking tape to keep the back completely clean, if you want you can cover up the back. I want to have these imperfections, I love that look, so I'm going to leave it as it is and I will repeat the same process on all my pieces. Now with the magic of video editing you can see that I have all the six pieces ready to go and I'm going to decorate them. For that I decided to go with these mandala dies just because I love the look of them and I'm just going to die cut them from white cardstock. Another way to decorate is to stick stamped images, stickers, these are washi tapes in different designs. You can even skip coloring and just stick a washi tape like these ones, there are lovely ones in the market. And this is by Altenew, I am going to link everything I'm showing you here if you want to check them out. I think this would make a lovely uh, organizer for your uh, desk. But again, I said in the beginning that I'm going with a clean and simple style for this one, so I decided to add those die cut mantalas to decorate everything in the front. Now I'm going to use the two larger shapes from these ones, they are quite intricate but I had no problem cutting them out, I used my Gemini die cutting machine. 
but you can easily get a similar look with mine if you use a stencil in a lovely pattern with white paint all over. To make the process quick and simple, I did use some double-sided tape at the back of the white cardstock, so when I run it through my die-cutting machine, I can just peel it off and it turns into a sticker. Another way is to use spray adhesive on such intricate designs, or even use your matte medium and stick everything down. After having all the designs cut out, it's uh, just a matter of sticking everything down. I am uh, trying to decide what looks pleasing to the eye. I like to have pieces coming out of the edges, but nothing is going to go to waste. I am going to use my scissors and very neatly cut off the excess, and then I'm going to stick it on another panel. And as I stick down all the different pieces, I want to let you know that this is a really fun process. It's a really easy and quick project and you can put together this organizer in no time, as long as you have something on your mind on how you want to decorate it. And I have to admit that I was debating with myself on either I wanted to use just blues and whites or if I want it to be a rainbow colored themed, just because there are six different compartments, you can go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and uh, violet, which would make a really fun uh, organizer for the top of your desk. If you already have this organizer and you did decorate it, make sure to visit my blog and leave a link down below in the comments. I would love to see what you created. And it would also be a great inspiration for everyone who visits that blog to get inspired by your projects as well. So here are all the panels ready to go and now it's time to assemble. It's really easy to put together and you will see the whole process here. So first you start with the skinny pieces and I'm going to stick them all around the center circle. Now this fit quite snugly so you need to apply some pressure to make sure that they are nicely stuck there. This is where you need to apply glue if you want. You can use craft glue or even wooden glue to make sure that everything is going to stick nicely together even on the edges if you want to. I decided to avoid using glue completely. I'm not going to use glue at all and you will see that it's going to end up nice and sturdy. However, at any time I can take it apart and glue it down together if I feel that this is something that I should have done. Notice that I do apply pressure and one thing that I suggest for you to do is to stand on top of your organizer. This way you can apply pressure without uh, too much effort. But don't be afraid to apply pressure. These are quite thick pieces and they are not going to break on you. Another tip that I can give you for easy assemble is to place those pieces together on an angle. Then press and straighten the piece as you go and you will have no problem at all to put together the whole thing. Now, if you used glue, all those pieces in the center would be perfectly aligned. However, in my case, I am just going to use the top part and I will make sure that everything is going to fit nicely inside. I would say that this was the trickiest part for me, but if you use glue, you will not have such issues. You will find that this hexagon piece is going to fit nicely on top, it's going to keep everything together and you will end up having all your compartments ready to go. Now all we need to do is to add the fun pieces that we have decorated. And now all we have to do is to put the mechanism together, super simple to do, it fits nicely there. And then on top you will use the big hexagon. Of course you can stick all those pieces together to make sure that nothing is going to come apart, but again they fit really snugly. Now on top of that you can glue the whole thing that we created. And this is how this is going to work. A really fun project, I am super happy with how this worked. And now I can fill it in with all the bits and pieces that I keep on my desk all the time. So for example, my bone folders, my black and white pens. I have a compartment for the tools that I use with my dies. 
one where I can add my spatulas and other little tools that I use all the time, another one for my adhesives. I can even uh, fit inside my uh, scissors at the center. It's so convenient and it fits tons and tons of uh, stuff inside. And I don't know if you can tell now that I'm spinning it around that I did add some gems at the center of my mantalas just to add some sparkle and something elegant on my table. Plus, I did add some white dots all around some of the mantalas with my Nuvo drops. So this is my new favorite organizer that you can customize. I think that the price is awesome, especially since it's now on sale for 15% off. You will get it for $22, about $22, and uh, for something that you will keep on your desk and use pretty much every day. So I hope that you had fun today and that you got inspired as we put together this organizer. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me today. And until next time, stay safe.